Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to your to travel blog, Jamie. It is cruise day or should I say voyage day? Nope, I am not going to be on board Piano Avia. Hmm. Now that is my girl. Yes, that's right. Today and for the remainder of this week, I am finally ticking off one of my bucket list experiences, a transatlantic voyage on board Cunard Queen Mary 2 from Southampton all the way to New York. I cannot believe it. It is embarkation day and you gorgeous lot are coming with me for the duration of this whole transatlantic voyage and indeed my time in New York. Are you ready for this? I don't think I am. I am too excited about this one. I really am. A little bit of weed just came out. Let's do this. Cunard's Queen Mary 2 is the world's only transatlantic ocean liner. It's hard to believe she's already been voyaging for 20 years. As an ocean liner, she was built to withstand the unpredictable nature of the Atlantic Ocean. My voyage on Queen Mary 2 to New York is scheduled to take six nights. Queen Mary 2's usual berth at Southampton is Queen Elizabeth II Cruise Terminal. And yes, I've walked here from the centre of Southampton, taking me about 15 minutes. I don't muck about though, you know. There is something very satisfying about arriving on foot. It's like all my hard work paid off, you know. I know, you're going to want to get a taxi, I know. Oh wow, this makes me a bit emotional. Ugh, my ticket to America. I've been given an arrival time of 1.30 p.m. Hoping it's not too busy in the terminal. Just the one case for me, folks, and my hand luggage. Um, after we've crossed the Atlantic and I've had my time in New York, I'm flying back. So I need to make sure this is not heavier than 23 kilograms, ready for my Virgin Atlantic flight home. But let's not talk about getting home yet. And welcome to the Queen Elizabeth II cruise terminal. Prior to arrival at the cruise terminal, you are asked to check in online using Cunard's website, logging into your account, and that's where you'll enter your passport details, credit card account details. You'll be able to take a, a mugshot of yourself, print off your boarding pass and luggage labels. Now, in a strange twist of events, after 70 cruises, this is the first time I've forgotten to print off my luggage labels. So I'm gonna to put to the test the same thing I tell you on my cruises, which is don't worry, if you can't print them off or you've forgotten, there should be a table uh, located around the luggage pod area where someone will help you and write one out for you. Will that happen? I bloody hope so. <laughs> I am next in line to collect a luggage label. So don't you worry if you've forgotten yours. There you go, makeshift luggage label. Next job is to drop these off at the correct baggage pod. Mine is number two. And the next time you'll see your luggage is just outside your cabin slash stateroom. Right, next stage, arrivals. So because I'm a good boy, I got here at 1.30, which is my arrival time. It makes no difference, it seems. It's just a long, long line of people not keeping to their time slot. Boarding pass, passport, ESTA, insurance. Got it. All right, about half hour later, nearly at the entrance. Ugh, lines, lines, lines. Yes, there are kennels and even walking decks for dogs. Duly noted. And an hour and 15 minutes later, I'm okay to board. As of the 23rd of June, 2024, get me. My actual check-in at the desk took no more than a minute just because I've entered all my details already online. She wanted to take another mugshot of me. Maybe uh, I look much younger in the flesh. All right, next job, security. There are lifts here uh, or escalators. We're escalating, we're escalating, we're escalating. And now a long line for security. Very slow today, very. Oh my goodness, my loves, an hour and 40 minutes later, and I'm ready to board. I'm so ready to board. The world's only ocean liner. We're walking, we're walking, we are bloody walking. It's the zigzagorama bit. I love it. All right, this is the really... So sorry for the abrupt end there, but I got told off by one of the Port Authority staff. Apparently no filming in the air bridge. Never experienced that in 70 cruises. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. 
Well, this is a bit more calming than what I've just experienced. <laughs> Welcome to the Grand Lobby. So this is where I've just embarked the ship. Oh, I so want to ring that bell. If Matthew were here, what would he say? All right, I'm gonna drop my stuff off in my cabin and look, one, two, three, four stairways. I like it. I need to go to deck six. Ooh, just passing the champagne bar. I think we'll probably head in there, don't you? Your Majesty. And just passing the Britannia restaurant, thought I'd pop in, have a little peep. Gorgeous, isn't it? I love a tiered restaurant. You'll never believe it. I'm going inside again. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think I'm here, 6217. Um, I imagine this is our cruise key card. Here I am, and here we go. My home for the next six nights before arriving into New York. Oh, please don't be too tiny and claustrophobic, please. I've got my eyes shut. What's it like? Oh. Oh, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay in this. Listen, my darlings, you know, you absolutely know, I'm going to do a full cabin slash stateroom tour and review later. But first impressions are few. Uh, for a standard inside cabin, I think it's a good space. I do quite like the finish on this. And oh, look how regal this throw is. Oh, I'm going to be okay, aren't I? I know I am. Oh, look, the storage space above the bed as well. I like that. And a peep from the corner. I like the fact there is a table and chair there. I say chair, poor Jamie, all on his own like a lemon. The other thing to note is there's ample storage space here, folks. There really is. Loads of drawers. It looks like we've almost got four or three and a half wardrobe spaces. No, 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 no. Arctic, please. Thank you very much. Okay, bathroom. Are we gonna be all right? <gasps> oh, and she, oh, I won't do that yet. It's not time for that yet. Um, oh, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I like the tiles. You're gonna be very upset there's a clinging curtain, but the size of the shower, uh, two and a half people in there, so not bad at all. And from this angle, oh, I see Pen Halligan products. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, I love a few Pen Halligan products. Very quick peep at the storage space. Thank goodness for a waffle gown and slippers. Very happy about that. Okay, so this isn't half a wardrobe, but we do have some shelf space here. And I've just noticed with the tea and coffee facilities, we've got full cream, pure milk. Drawers, drawers, drawers. We've got a fridge in here, I imagine. Yeah, awesome. Well, initially I was just a tad worried about doing a transatlantic in an inside cabin, but actually this is a good space. It's definitely very comfortable. Oodles of storage space, uh, a few nice little luxuries here and there, and the AC is working Mwah! beautifully. I'm gonna be fine, aren't I? Aren't I? For muster, we need to watch the safety drill in the cabin and then we need to take our cruise key card and zap in at our muster station. Alrighty, before I head out, explore the ship and just chill my ass off. <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I said that. It's not very Cunard-like, is it? Um, I'm gonna do a few little jobs. It's true, I know, right? I'm on holiday and I'm gonna do some jobs. Um, well, first of all, Cunard have a kind of app. It's more a web page called My Voyage. Uh, so I wanna access that so that I'm able to look at my reservations for the week. It's where you can make dining reservations, book excursions, you know, that kind of jazz. Um, you don't actually need to purchase the Wi-Fi on board to be able to access that. So don't feel you need to be spending your kaching. That's the other thing I need to do, uh, and that's check out Wi-Fi, how much it is. Now, I am a loyalty tier member. I'm gold, always believe in you. I'm gold, uh, which means apparently I get some sort of discount, uh, but I haven't been able to book it in advance. I have to do that on board. So a few jobs, oh, 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 the spa and thermal suite. I wanna see if there are any passes left. I think it looks like quite good value. Have a look at these prices. Well, a day pass at the Thermal Suite is just $59, or for the duration of the voyage, $149, which I think is great value. Don't forget, when you board, you can connect to the My Voyage webpage. You won't need to purchase Wi-Fi in order to use this. You'll be prompted to enter a few details, and then you can access all sorts of information about onboard dining, your account, the spa, 
menus, daily program, internet access, and more. There's even a calendar that will show you all your purchases and reservations for each day of your voyage. You can also make dining reservations both at speciality dining venues and the main dining room. If you're not sure whether to purchase Wi-Fi, well, you can try out the complimentary one-hour package. I purchased the Essential Wi-Fi package, which worked brilliantly for the duration of my voyage. As a member of the Gold Loyalty Tier Scheme, I also received a discount on this package, so I only paid $62 in total for the whole week, which I think is great value. Also available is a 24-hour package. Okay, let's find this muster station. Incidentally, this is a proper prom deck. Look at these lounges. Fabulous. Let's just hope we have decent weather on the way over. Oh, I've just had some people knocking furiously on the window at me, pointing at me. What do you say about that? Hi. Really good news for me. My muster assembly is essentially the buffet. Yes, muster and eat. I love it. Well, this is King's Court, and I'm used to a buffet being chockers on the first day, on embarkation day. I can cope with this, definitely. We're at a few stir-fried noodles for me, some root veg, some beans. Well, that was actually quite tasty. Uh, served very hot, which I like. Uh, lots of ginger, garlic, a bit chilli. Good start. Look what I found. I do hope they have some passes left for me. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, I couldn't resist. I booked the thermal suite the whole week ahead. <laughs> Come and go as you please from 7.30 a.m. I will do just that, thank you. You're gonna have to watch the full vlog to see what that's like. Sorry. It's kind of like a cliffhanger, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I thought I was at the front of the ship and I am, but look, look, look. Mind the step. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. I hope we can come out here when we're in the Atlantic, even if it's blowing a hoolie. Oh, after a bit of a stressful check-in and security check, things are now looking up, quite literally. Everyone, you are the World Club guests who are joining us for this voyage. That's me. A special welcome. entertainment. We hope you'll come along and enjoy some music. Oh, I do like a bit of info. What about you? Look, Commodore's cufflinks, otherwise known as spare propeller blades. Andy. Holy macaroni. All right, they are big. I don't feel worthy. I don't feel worthy. All righty, we are scheduled to set sail at 6 p.m. And I am getting super excited again about this voyage. I can't believe we're literally sailing to America. It's just unfathomable to me. Duly noted. Come on, let's try out a Cunard lounger. Oh, very nice, my darlings, very nice. Oh, we got a party, nearly, nearly a party. So this is the aft, plunge pool, big pool, hot tub, nice looking lounges, towels on each one. I like it. I think I want to go back to my cabin and see if my luggage has arrived. I want to get my swimmers on. I didn't pack them in my hand luggage. Stupid. Yay, another pool. Hurrah. Ba, ba, ba. Ooh, luggage has arrived. Let's get unpacking right away. And done. I'll see you in six days. Under the bed you go. Yes, yes, I've got a dinner jacket and all sorts of posh stuff, don't you worry. And the Maldives in a reed diffuser. I kid you not, it's all in there. I mean, the Maldives are tiny little islands, so they fit. Now then, what I've realized is my location is not only very close to Alondra, it's also very near to the aft pool. That's me right there. And look, in between two staircases and elevators. Love it. And by my reckoning, I should be able to head out to the open deck from deck six as well let's see oh yes oh this is handy isn't it is that time folks it definitely is oh ho, 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 the bits and bobs are out we got this we got this it is heated yes and it's a good temperature straight in oh that's great i want to be in this all the way across the atlantic i do 
Should be sailing in about mm, 15 minutes. Exciting. Happy cruise day. I mean, voyage days. Oh my God, the Cunard is going to come for me with pitchforks and everything, aren't they? If I say the word cruise again. God, imagine if I said boat. Not a bad sized pool, actually, for an aft pool. I like it. A uh, beautiful temperature. Can't wait to try the other two pools, one of which is indoors. NCL, have a great time. Well, this is Norwegian Cruise Lines Prima. Totally different experience to this, and one I hope to have one day. And it's finally our turn. <laughs> Release the Kraken, I mean the lines. Release the lines, please, mister. Thank you. Oh my God, here we go. We've got a drone. I bet that's somebody I know. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful evening and sail away. Ah, oh, just blissful, it really is. I only cried a little bit, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Next stop, New York. Breathe. infiltrated the Queen's Terrace. I'll explain all about that in the full vlog, but don't worry Queen's guests, I'm not staying, I'm on my way. And that's it for embarkation day. I'm gonna head back to my cabin, I'm gonna freshen up, head out for dinner. I've got a dinner date, it's true. If you wanna see the rest of this voyage, you're gonna need to wait just a little bit longer and make sure you search Travel Blog Jamie, Cunard, Queen Mary 2, one week transatlantic voyage. I'll see you on the horizon. Take care. Thank you for your support as we head towards 29,000 subscribers. It's cray cray. Today, shout outs go to my tiers three, four, and five patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. If you'd like a personalized video message for yourself or a loved one, just head to cameo.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And a special shout out today to Steph, Ryan, The Duties, Coops and Mark, Melissa and Catherine, Tara, Cindy, Graham and Elaine. Thanks for watching and don't forget we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie and right here, right now on YouTube. <laughs>